We are sending an alarm. Come out of her, my people. Who is her? The great harlot, the great whore, the deceiver. Revelation is written in codes in many places. There is a system of this world that the Lord wants us to come out of. He is not saying we should run out of the world because though we are in the world, we are not of this world. We cannot fly out of this world, but we are called upon to come out of the systems of this world, not to live our lives according to the pattern of this world, not to merge ourselves with those in the world. There is a way that every child of God must live, and that is a call today. God has a nation. Whenever he is angry and he wants to carry out any form of destruction, he wants the righteous to stay away. He wants those who are righteous to get themselves out of the place he wants to judge. Let's remember the world that existed in the time of Noah. Before God destroyed the world in the time of Noah, he created a way of escape for Noah. And when the flood came, God preserved Noah. He did not just preserve Noah alone, but he preserved the animals. That was how the first world was consumed. When God judged Sodom and Gomorrah, he took Lot out of the city. Lot, his wife, and his two children, they were all saved. He warned them. He said, flee for your lives. Flee, run as quickly as you can, because the cry of these people have come up to heaven and it is time for God to judge this nation. The word of the Lord is coming to us again today. It is time to flee because this world we live in is heading for destruction. Almost everybody is preaching, but it's like nobody is preaching because there is a famine of the word of God, famine of the truth. You tune the radio, you go to the internet, you go to the TV station, cable station, messages, even on CNN. People are preaching everywhere. But how many people are preaching the truth?